Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. If you're looking for a fun way to deliver some Halloween treats, I have the project for you today. So we're going to use Tester's acrylic and Tester's spray paint to make some cute terracotta pots that are perfect for adding treats in. Now this can be a kid's craft or a craft that adults can make, just depending on how you want to do it. This video is sponsored by Tester's, however all projects and opinions are my own. So we're going to paint these with Tester's acrylic paints, which the kids can do. And then I have a few tips for adding spray paint, which adults will need to do if you want to add some extra touches to your terracotta pots. Then you're going to decorate them with Google Eyes, vinyl cut on your Cricut machine, other painted like corks on this little Frankenstein guy, just depending on what you want to decorate yours with. Just kind of let your imagination go wild. So let's start by taking a look at the supplies you're going to need for this project. So you'll need your clay pots. I like small ones for these treat containers. I have a couple different sizes here, but you can pick whatever size you like for this. Paint brushes, and then Tester's Craft acrylic paint in a variety of colors. And then I am going to use Tester's Craft spray paint as well to add some accents to ones that are already painted with acrylic paint. If you're gonna use the spray paint, this is for adults only. So if you want this to be a kid's craft, stick with the acrylics only, and I will have an option that just uses acrylics, or an adult should use the spray paint portion. Either way will work. And then a few decoration options. So you can use Google Eyes. I have some pieces cut from vinyl on my Cricut machine. I have some corks that I'm gonna paint for a Frankenstein version. This portion, again, up to you. So I'm gonna use a variety of things, glue some of these on with a hot glue gun. The vinyl is adhesive, I can just stick that to the front. I would put out a variety of things, and if this is a kid's craft, just kind of let them go wild. Otherwise, I will have the SVG file linked below for the shapes that I'm using. And then I like to add the treats to the inside in a plastic bag. And then I'm going to use some washi tape to like seal the bags up. You could use some ribbon for this. This part portion, again, up to you, however you want to use the final terracotta pot project. You could do a larger pot and plant something in it. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and paint the pots with the acrylic paints. And then we'll start adding some of the decoration with the spray paint as well as anything else you want to do right here. I just have some of the Tester's acrylic paint poured out here and I'm just going to start painting my terracotta pots. So this might take one to two coats, depending on how much the terracotta itself absorbs and what color you're gonna paint these. So I'm gonna make a ghost one and it's gonna be white. It will probably take several coats to get the pot white. So it's just gonna depend on what color you're painting. This purple probably will take two coats and it will be fine. So just paint these, allow them to dry, add additional coats if needed, and allow that to dry as well. And then I'll show you the optional idea with the spray paint if you would like to do that. So I did just want to note that painting the inside as well as the outside will give you a more finished looking project, especially if you're going to use these as treat containers and then after they remove the treats they can see the painted inside of your pot as well. And then for the corks, I'm painting the entire thing black to use on our little Frankenstein terracotta pot. Of course, that's optional. You can use whatever you want for the sides of the Frankenstein or leave that off. So I'm just going to keep adding coats to these until I'm happy with the coverage and then we'll take a look at the spray paint portion. After the acrylic paint has dried, you have the option to add some spray paint over the top. So what I'm doing here is just shaking the spray paint really well and then adding just a dusting of it. So I don't wanna cover the front completely. I want some of that original color to show through, but I wanna kinda of splash the spray paint on there just to give some of these pots a really unique look. You can absolutely skip this step and just go with the acrylic paint, but I really like this look on at least some of the pots. I think it makes them a little extra spooky. So now my spray paint is dry and I just wanted to go over what colors I used on each. So these are gonna be my ghost pots and I just did the white matte Tester's Craft. These are going to be my pumpkins and I did Coral Cove with black over the top and you can see that the coral, you can still see it on the front and then the black is just kind of splashed on, does not have to be perfect at all. And then for the monster I did Plum with Tester's Craft Gloss over the top in this fun pink color. Again you can see I left the purple on the front and just kind of splashed the pink over the top. And then this one I did turquoise with this color shift over the top. And I put the color shift over the top of the entire thing. And this is going to be my Frankenstein. So this color shift, you see the cap looks black. 
That's because it has a black undercoat. If we undercoat it with the turquoise, you just get kind of a color shift look to the paint. So this one is completely optional, but it gives a really cool effect to the pot itself. So let's look at how to finish each of these pots. The ghost is definitely the easiest. I'm just adding a couple of googly eyes to the front and this one is complete. For the pumpkin, I just have a cute pumpkin face. I'm not even gonna use transfer tape for this. So I would encourage you, especially if you're gonna use this for a project for the kids, just let them kind of peel and stick the vinyl pieces. It definitely doesn't have to be perfect. For the monster pots, I like to put three googly eyes on them, big one, and then two like medium ones on the side. So the monsters have three eyes each. Again, these can be decorated however you would like or the kids would like. And then I just have a monster mouth cut out of vinyl on my Cricut. I'm just gonna add that to the bottom. And that one's done. Then finally for Frankenstein, we'll go ahead and add a couple of googly eyes in any color you would like, or even the white with the black. Then he gets a scar, and you can cut out more than one scar per pot if you would like, and a fun smile. Then he gets two of these corks on either side. Again, just securing with some hot glue and gluing those into place. And there you have your completed clay pots. And now let's take a look at adding candy to the inside of these to give us Halloween treats. For each of these, I just like to add a plastic bag to the inside. And then you can fill with whatever Halloween candy you would like. I like to use just a piece of washi tape to close that up and cut the excess off. So whether you wanna go super easy, like this little ghost guy, or you wanna branch out a little bit, add Google Eyes, vinyl, and some corks to make Frankenstein, or even combine the acrylic with the spray paint, kind of mist it around the sides to make a spooky jack-o'-lantern. However you wanna make these, I think it will be a really fun craft for Halloween. Now you wanna add something even more special, look for glow-in-the-dark vinyl, and add that to the front of something like this little pumpkin, you know, really make something spooky when the lights go out. So hopefully you liked these little terracotta pots that are perfect for Halloween treats. You can make these larger, like I said, and add potted plants to them for a fall porch. You can make them just a little bit larger if you want more treats inside than I have. What I love about terracotta pot crafts is that they come in a huge wide range of sizes, plus they're super inexpensive and can be found just about anywhere. So check out your local home improvement store for the terracotta pots. And then I will drop links below where you can find Tester's craft paints near you or online so that you can grab exactly the colors that I used and make these adorable little clay pots. So hopefully you liked this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything we've covered, drop down in the comment section, ask away. And if you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos just like this one every single week and trust me, you don't want to miss any of those. Thank you all so much for joining me and I can't wait to see what kind of clay pot crafts you make for Halloween. Thank y'all, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.